Alrighty, waiting on two kind of right here. something else entirely. Nah. Put that aside for now. <laughs> As expected. Got a couple of hairstyles here you can choose from. Ain't really much because I guess I didn't have much ideas. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, close one, close one. You almost did it. <laughs> Alright, what hairstyle are you running with? What style you want to run with? The messy one. Like this? Or was it this one? No, wait, this is actually in style. I think you meant this one. This is a messy one. A 9 11 joke. Oh no, we're going to offend a lot of people here. <laughs> if I remember correctly from the picture, you had a black hair color, right? Or was it brown? Like, really dark brown. Dark brown. Here we go. You wanna add some big ass beards? How about a mustache? <laughs> now we're gonna give you this one. <laughs> I don't think you would want any beard if you would actually be like a hunter slash uh Division agent, rogue agent, whichever. I don't think you'd want a big beard. Unless you want to add one for shit and giggles. Shaved and looking demons. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a good day to go to work at September 11th, 2001. I heard we will get a new shipment of items and there... And here comes the play now! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> we ain't holding back no more. Any scars or nah? Any battle scars? It's a good joke. He's a good joke. You want some battle scars included? Mr. Token? <laughs> Alright, which one do you want? We got a facial scar right here. One at the edge. One towards the mouth. And you have one that's a mixture at the mouth and at the chin. One above the eye, kind of like me, but smaller. This is a different one. Oh yeah, this is what it looks like when you have a scar from a grenade explosion. This one? Or was it this one? I 
Alright. I ain't gonna lie, normally I would also give like a facial like paint camo of sorts, but they all look like shit honestly, so I'm not gonna do that. Any tattoos? Although tattoos would be kinda difficult to go by with. Might as well do that for you. Give you something stylish. Ooh, skull. I'm gonna give you a bit of a skull right here. Arm tattoo. Let's turn your character around right here. Ooh, now this is some style. I'm gonna give you that. No, no leg tattoo. Yeah, it's kind of pointless. You're not even gonna be able to see it when you have pants on. <coughs> As for the outfits, they don't matter at the moment because I'm gonna change the looks once we're in the game. <laughs> That's what she said. to the marker. Over here, agent. Meet me at the gate. Let's get you your stuff. Where is it at? Ah, there it is. All right. Let's see where. Mm hmm. There it is. There we go. Got the boots. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Lincoln Bust. That looks hilarious. Well, I think you'd probably prefer a T-Rex. Oh, Twin Towers? Well, hold on, let me get the... I, I don't have a... Tw well, I do have a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a plane over here that you can have as a memory of when you crashed the Twin Towers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With a perfect tower right above. <laughs> oh, brother. That's a good stuff. Alright, let's get you the right patch. Biochemical twatots. Right there, like a Chernobyl style. Okay, we're good. Let's go. <coughs> Agent, follow me. I need backup. Jump over it. I got you. Myself threat detected. Take care of it. Coming from behind that barrier. Incoming hostiles. Keep firing. Here they come. Come on, motherfucker. Where are you running? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Bismarck's there too. There's even Observer Alpha from the Siren Faction in Nazar Lane. I don't know how it came to that, but whatever. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight, Tukan. Everyone here. Not again. Get to the water. Cutscene time.
dress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things Damn. for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Towers were actually in New York. And they sadly do not exist anymore. SHD emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. 
We're about to clump, clump this way. Not exactly that she started the genocide. There's not exactly the proper uh, explanation for it. Paradeus is not uh, trying to wipe out humanity specifically. That's not exactly their goal. Uh, what they want is to basically have a place in the world. So, um, in a sense that it would even make sense, I guess. What she wanted is to be more or less literally human, like understand human nature, how they function, their reasons, all that type of stuff. Because apparently she is literally not capable of understanding that properly. Or at least in a better sense of saying the reason she became a villain is because she was treated like a literal fucking... Um, she was treated like nothing more than a tool of war. So, you know, she kind of decided, yeah, I don't want to be like that no more, and decided to leave. Kind of the higher-ups mistake on that one. <laughs> and Angelica. They literally denied her, you know, at least some sort of freedom. Oh yeah, sure, I got that. <laughs> Lord and Savior. The eight and war attack is a perfection. Yeah, that's what's thing cover. You hide here and then. Try me, bitch. You dead. Who next? You're next. And your buddy over there. Let's go feel some armor right here. Dead. When it comes to guerrilla warfare, yes. Killing off their bloodlines one by one for these fucking hyenas. Well, technically, they're a bunch of fucking criminals that banded together to create them, you know, like a group. But yeah, we're gonna wipe them out, no worries. Celebration cigarette right here. But yeah, when it comes to the ringleaders versus Simon Ghost Riley, when Simon Ghost Riley goes into guerrilla warfare, they are terrified of him because, well, nobody does it better than him. Literally. So he would literally wipe them out one by one, you know, like one ringleader after another, and they wouldn't even know that he just did that before it's too late. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this... villainy. 
They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in D.C. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the Quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. Yeah, they kind of butchered it a little bit on that. Hey Upper learning a new skill? At least in the perspective of subtitles, they may have butchered it, but I'd have to basically listen to his quote lines and I'll probably figure out what he said. Alright, first rule in this fucking game, always have a reviver. Never go out in the missions without at least a reviver for the first few times, because this shit is not as easy as it looks. Well, it's not going to be easy for long, at least. See ya. The theater settlement is off to the east. You, you probably run into some trouble along the way. You'll have to do this block. What the fuck? Why well, is it daytime already? Jesus. This game can really be a bit tricky. <laughs> Point blank someone with an anti-tank rifle. Well, I can understand how that comes forward with it. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who cram the weak and vulnerable and kill for kids. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. But they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given our situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But where DC is the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not gonna last long without support. Portable electronic device detected. Nobody cares about that portable electronic device, Isaac. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares about that. I've already captured it with my first character throughout this entire game. <laughs> and I don't think Tukan over here really wants to give a damn about some fucking phone. He's here to shoot guns and kill the bad guys, that's it. That's all he needs to do. He don't give a fuck about some random guy he's never met. <laughs> We're here to blast guns. What do I have when I make OCs? I use uh, this name of F for standard human weaknesses as fleshy meat bags <laughs> ah yes traditional Jesus Christ, this is why I hate rifles in this game sometimes. I'm here to get fried chicken. <laughs> Where my fried chicken at, bitch? <laughs>
Sit the fuck down. Oh, yeah, the, the one thing I definitely love about this game is like exhausted backpack. Any other backpack would be nicer to carry. This is what I love about it. And then as for the armor, for example, like, it would literally be the same thing like a cardboard box if it can stop a bullet. <laughs> Damn. You're coming up on the theater settlement. The woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side. Actually, in, in the timeline of the book that uh, I'm writing, like, the whole thing... Um, yeah, even a corpse, that's true. But in the in the different, like, timeline with, like, the wolves and all that, uh, she never betrayed the DeFi team. Because she already basically got, like, a invitation from the wolves. Which already summed up for her situation anyway. Basically, instead of joining Paradeos, she decided to join with the Wolves. Mostly because Ryan doesn't really treat any fucking Tito like just a fucking tool of war. Hello. Which is why they always look up to him like, you know, the only fucking person that doesn't really do that. Alongside any people that he works with. Like Ghost and so on. Although Ghost is kind of more like a cold and like empty person, but... I'll actually get to that in a second, because there is actually a reason why he acts the way he does. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Well, more or less they're doing that because the American country is, like, fucked, you know. Nukes dropped everywhere around it, so there isn't really much to do there at the moment. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. To get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I'll always pay my debts. Alright. Fine. We'll get you your fucking kid back, but you better pay your fucking debts. <laughs> or it's not the hyenas you should be afraid of afterwards. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, Isaac, with your stupid portable device detected. Nobody cares, bro. It's probably some old hag that is already dead. <laughs> well, it would be interesting to see a campaign spin off, or something like that at least. I'll actually be curious to see if it's gonna like be something like with how we go after Shepard, or even Makarov, and all that type of stuff. I would definitely want to see that. <clears throat> Damn. No wonder the apocalypse broke out. Look at all this garbage. <laughs> it's even more dirty than fucking China. <laughs> Oh no. Grand Washington Hotel. Okay, here we go. That's Woo! That's how you make an entrance. Side of the building. I 
Once you're inside, find a way to the atrium. So, remember the quote when Ghost says, don't trust uh, anyone, not even those close to you? That is a reference to him having been betrayed once in his life by someone very close to him. So, like, he must have really been through something at the time. Because the ghost from the new Modern Warfare is far more uh, original to how he really is in the story, if you know what I mean. Big shot. Real unpleasant. We need to kill this asshole. Well, there's actually more to that. Just let me quickly clear out the area and get a... Get a, like, timing where I can, like, uh, focus on talking. Without getting myself killed by these enemies right here. <laughs> Burn, bitch. Your way up. Damn, the chat box is defending China. <laughs> and it didn't send. God damn. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's because it has this, like, fucking... <sighs> Even though I deactivated it, it still does that. But I have to, like, go to the whole stream where the chat is, and I have to basically activate it to, like, allow for it to be viewed. Like, until I do that, it's not gonna be seen. So give me a second, I'll... I'll, I'll take care of that. Since we're in the clear right now, anyway. Should work without any problems. Shit ton of notifications. Not really my business, anyway. Here it is. All right, here we go. So, let's see. Here it is. There you go. So basically it does that fucking shit because... Well, it's retarded. What can I say? broken system that doesn't even really have any logic for me anyway. So I don't really bother myself with all that type of stuff anymore. <laughs> but yeah, long story short, when it comes to Ghost, uh, if, if I remember correctly, it's easier to know from the perspective of his experience As an Asian, I have a pass against Asian racism. <laughs> it's a damn shame YouTube doesn't understand that logic, but anyway. <clears throat> Long story short, Ghost was betrayed by those close to him in the past. And that was after he tried to rescue them, I think. So, yeah. 
It was also how he learned guerrilla warfare and pretty much all that type of stuff. That's why he's not really, like, shocked or he doesn't show, like, a specific, like, uh, confused face expression when Graves in the campaign betrayed us because he was so used to it that, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't really bother with it. He's used to it. But yeah, that's why Ghost is cold and like doesn't really like show a um what's the word? He doesn't really show much uh emotion more or less. Because he's been through a lot. From his childhood to being betrayed in the military before to this crap around already and so on. And it still applies in the sense for the book. Minus the part where... Denied, motherfucker. Minus the part where... Graves betrays them, because that is not the case in the, in the book we're writing, so, you know. There is no Graves betrayal in the book. Yeah. None of that. Anyway. Let's finish up this mission and close up the stream for now. I'm gonna make sure to always like stream up whenever I continue playing any missions with this character. Get your little view on uh, having some fun with this type of stuff. Picked out the ghost, good pick, select the Daniel Defense M4V7 and Zani budget. Yeah, that's, that works. That works very well. It'll probably be something he would actually like use in combat, so. A good choice. Shut, motherfucker. Sit the fuck down. That'll do. Ooh, that was a good headshot. Yeah, it does. It would probably be something he generally uses for close quarters altogether. Uh, I think that's gonna arrive later on. If not in the first season, maybe in the second one they're gonna add it, so it would make sense if they did it that way. They did add a lot of weapons for this season. Well, as a lot as it makes sense for a season, you know. You're taking no one out. I'm taking you all out, motherfuckers. You think I'm stuck here with you? Nah, you're stuck here with me. <laughs> Didn't even have to refill my armor. Well, it might be the case, but we don't know, because Roach was never, um... He was never really revealed as a character. It's kind of like how it's with Ramirez. We've never seen them really, like, uh... That would be definitely something, I think. That would definitely be something for me as well.
<laughs> you said it, Kelso. As long as I'm not breathing asbestos, that blasted a lot of damage. Yeah, I can understand that part. Doesn't make sense to me either. Elevator time. Yeah, but I don't understand why they do it like that. Like, why place the fucking operator at first? Like PlayStation in the first place, you know. First of all, voice in the elevator. The first thing you do when there's a fire in the fucking elevator or like section around here or something like that is you're definitely not gonna want to sit inside a goddamn elevator and wait for that fucking fire to get to you. And if it's hit by an explosion, you want to get out before the fucking wires give up and you drop to your death. I understand the logic of elevators, safety precautions, but that's not how you do it. Yeah. I, I can see why, because it's never really added as the code at all for you guys in the game. Which is honestly something that just hits me with a fucking box lot or something like that. Like, you give us the fucking operator, but crossplay players cannot see it? What's the point? Yeah. But like I said, I still don't understand how the hell, um, how the hell is it like where the fucking Chinese operator works for Spec Group, but the South Korean works for Korta, like, that just, it doesn't add up for me. I still don't understand that part. Gun. Yeah, they had one job, and they fucked it up a little bit. I'm on the roof, holding for backup. I have eyes on you, Kelso. You see Saint? I don't know what he looks like, but there are plenty of hostiles up there. Not for long. Oh, I know. Then again, Sony comes from Japan, so I'm not surprised that they made it like that. You know, since, you know, Oni comes from the Japanese culture as a whole thing. And the PlayStation comes from Japan, which makes sense. You only ask me at least. Time to meet up with Kelso. What's up, Kelso? Glad you made it. Let's do this. Bit of a Modern Warfare reference right there, huh? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Where my pizza hat? <laughs> Come get some motherfuckers. Five cheese ain't enough, boy. <laughs> Play, put a pizza on top of a pizza, call it Paula Dean. <laughs>
I'm going to the high grounds. It's over, Highness. I have the high ground. Your leader is dead, motherfuckers. What you gonna do about it now? This mission is the only one that is a bit laggy from like the video graphics. I don't even know why. This is really fucking stupid it does that. God damn. I'ma just grab these. A couple of these right here. Hey get wolf. Ryan, ghost seems happy. Eleanor? Ghost, I hate you. Hey <laughs> get twelve. <laughs> <laughs> That's his way of being happy. Ghost, shut up, twelve. <laughs> she's in shock. I'll bring her down when she's fit to move. Let's meet at the theater later. Oh, let's see the new gear I got. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Any of these will do, I guess. And more junk. Fuck this. I'm gonna sell it all. Make some money. Heads up. You've got hostiles flooding into the building from the street. Get down there and take care of them. I got Eleanor. Who needs a phone when I call in an A10 bird, these fools? You can call in an A10 and just bird them to death. <laughs> bird! True, true. It's normal for them to actually even have that, when you think about it. That's what you get. Stupid ass hyenas. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Try me, motherfucker. Manny, is Odessa on the line? I'll patch her in. Odessa? Kelso has some news for you. We got Eleanor. Is she okay? She's okay. I'm bringing her home. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. See you soon. We've got some new footage of the hyenas. Might help you make more sense of them. Finally, a new gun. Well, we'll use that as a backup. Anyway, here we go. The hyenas are, long story short, basically a bunch of thugs. Imagine when a huge amount of gangsters create a council meeting sort of thing and, well, you know, go and kill people for fun, steal their shit. The usual. These guys, basically. I'm gonna drop your mother they also like to use drugs to enhance their abilities. So, yeah. That's pretty much what the hyenas are. But, if I would choose between the hyenas and the fucking outcasts, I would probably pick more for the hyenas because the outcasts are just a bunch of simps. Like, one fucking lady who is the leader of the outcasts loses her daughter. 
It does make me feel wrath of the A12. Eh, that would be something good to use. But yeah, long story short, this fucking lady loses her daughter, you know? So she's like, oh, I lost my family. I might as well just go ahead and kill literally everyone else that couldn't do jack shit anyway to help me because they pretty much didn't have anything they could do to help me. And, uh, you know, just go kill their children too while at it and all that type of stuff. And manipulate all of these people here to kill things because I'm angry. That's the outcast leader and pretty much the outcasts in a nutshell. The outcast troops are basically a bunch of simps to one angry and so depressed lady. Like, I have, I have zero respect for those guys. Uh, Brooker will do. But yeah, that's pretty, like I said, that's why I don't like the outcasts. I just have no sympathy for those people. Sure, they've suffered for all their fucking problems, but how can you take a bunch of maniacs that literally do the same thing to other people and are pretty much no different than the criminals on the streets? Like, bro, at least the hyenas don't pretend. You get what I'm saying? It's worse than ever, Odessa. We're barely holding things together. What am I supposed to do? Help us. I am helping. I am helping. Just not the way you want me to. We need you out there again. Your leg wouldn't stop you. It's not about that. I know it isn't. But if we fail... All right! All right. We could probably spare some people. I'll be outside. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. need no fucking tutorial for that. Anyway, let's see what this is all about. I am helping by buying food for myself. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much easy. <laughs> you are a pizza hat, you vegetable. <laughs> okay. I want me fucking pizza right now, <laughs> motherfucker. Give me the pizza! Give me the fucking pizza! <laughs> Le pizza, good stuff. <laughs> me eat pizza, me feel good. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hi. Well, that's it for the first part of this fucking character stream. Ooh, I think I do. <laughs> About fucking time. Well, I'll stream again either later or tomorrow or something like that. That's all for now.